Hey lovelies, so all week long I am sharing delicious recipes that all come together to make the perfect Thanksgiving feast. Today we are going to talk about how to make perfect mashed potatoes each and every time. Now mashed potatoes of course all start with a really good potato. I like to use russet potatoes for this job. They are really starchy and I find they get really fluffy through the cooking process. So russet potatoes it is. All I'm going to do is peel them and then cut them into nice big chunks. It's really important if you're peeling your potatoes ahead of time that you submerge them in water once they're peeled. Otherwise they tend to get this rust color happening and they don't look very pretty. Very similar to what happens to a banana. Oxidization doesn't look nice. We want pretty potatoes more than anything else. Once your potatoes are cut and submerged in water, it's time to get those beauties to the stove. You're going to want to boil them on medium high heat until they are nice and soft. And trust me on this one, you cannot overcook these potatoes. You want them completely falling apart. You're simply going to drain them and then it's time to mash them. Now when it comes to mashing your potatoes, a regular potato masher is fine, but if you really want to get perfectly smooth mashed potatoes, you need to upgrade your equipment to a potato ricer. I will tell you, this was actually given to me by my fiance's aunt. She has been making perfect potatoes for the last 80 years or so, and trust me, this thing is gonna change your life. All you basically do is pop your potatoes into the body of the ricer and then squeeze, and what you end up with are super smooth potato pellets. In the meantime, while your potatoes are being riced, you're gonna to wanna to pop a small saucepan on the stove over medium low heat. And basically what you're going to do is combine some butter and some milk or cream in that saucepan and heat it up just until the butter is completely melted. Now, I can't stress this enough. Hot butter and milk make for way more delicious potatoes. Once your butter and milk is all ready, you're gonna pour that into your potatoes. Then you are going to season those potatoes with a good helping of salt and pepper. Obviously potatoes on their own are pretty bland, so you can go ahead and add quite a bit here. You can also add any types of seasonings you like at this point. I like adding some chopped chives sometimes or some chopped parsley really works well, or you can leave them as is. Let's be serious, they're going to be smothered in gravy anyways. And if you're looking for a foolproof gravy recipe, not to worry, I've got a full how-to tutorial as well as more great advice on how to orchestrate the perfect Thanksgiving dinner so that everything is scheduled down to the minute. You should check out my Thanksgiving dinner countdown. It is super, super helpful. You should also check out all of the rest of the yummy videos in this playlist. They're all classic and easy and foolproof and delicious. And most importantly, you should subscribe because there is lots more Thanksgiving yumminess where this came from.